one of the common themes I keep seeing is this withholding, also known as lying, of their truth in order to save face and not look desperate, thirsty, naggy, or anything of the such. And what I keep bringing these women back to over and over and over again is what's true is ordained by God. Ladies, stop lying and withholding your truth. Now, at first blush, some of you are probably already upset, angry, and leaning in like, you better make this make sense, P. And I'm telling you right now, I am. Uh, I have uh, many groups of people that I coach all the time. And I have some really awesome close friends who happen to be women. And I support them as well in their relationships and in their dating. And one of the common themes I keep seeing is this withholding, also known as lying, of their truth in order to save face and not look desperate, thirsty, naggy, or anything of the such. And what I keep bringing these women back to over and over and over again is what's true is ordained by God. And so if you write, this is a real thing, one of my friends said, I, I wrote him, I love you in a text message. And he only hearted it back. And I said, what'd you do after that? She was like, I went off the deep end and I started thinking about ways that we were going to break up. I started thinking about how he was cheating on me. I started thinking about, and she went off on this whole tangent. And I said, what'd you do after that? And she said, nothing. I said, what'd you want to do? Well, I wanted to tell him that I want him to say I love you back. And I said, why didn't you tell him that? Well, I don't want to come off as needy or crazy. And I'm like, well, but tell me about what you were just thinking. Because that is crazy. And you are needy. And that's okay. You've been taught unconsciously from the pendulum swinging from the Disney... Uh, little Mermaid losing her voice to get the man type things to the 1980s, 90s, early 2000s moms and women who went into the boardroom and said, we'll be dudes. We'll just be dudes. And the, the, the pendulum is swinging back. And what I mean by that is I want to remind you that you have feminine power that us men do not have. You have the power to create new humans, let alone open up hearts and worlds and transform our world. But if you keep lying and withholding your feminine power because you're trying to look a certain way, you are not only robbing yourself, you are not only tainting this beautiful conception, this thought, I love you. I need you. You're not only tainting that with your uh, perception, which is deception, you're, you're, you're robbing him of the opportunity to show up for you. Alexi and I have been in therapy and working with coaches and doing things a lot, as, uh, especially as of late. And uh, we started working with this particular coach, uh, therapist, who taught us this distinction. And it is the distinction between speaking from versus speaking at. And what he described was, is that in many love relationships, uh, oftentimes women, because they have more content because of the diffused focus, um, will speak at, right? I'll give you an example. I'm making this up. Um, your partner... forgets to uh, lock the door at night and you have a thing about that. 
And so you notice that the door isn't locked the next morning, and you bring that to him. Speaking at would look like this. Really? Really? You didn't lock the door again. I mean, literally, what kind of person doesn't lock the door? Like, seriously, I don't understand, like, where your mind is or, like, what kind of mind you have because it's so simple. Take a moment and ask yourself, would you feel invited into that energy? Now, speaking from would look like this. Hey, babe, um, I'm feeling super upset, super vulnerable, super sad right now and scared um, because I noticed that you didn't lock the door again. And babe, like I have so much trauma that I've been through. And, you know, I know it's different for you as a man, um, but I need you. Can you help me? Can you support me? Can you set an alarm or figure out a way to make sure that you do that? Because I really need you to show up for me and us. Now ask yourself, which one of those do you think your husband, boyfriend, partner, heterosexual partner would receive more? Now I'll give you another one. Speaking at would look like, um, you noticed you're sitting at dinner with your partner a woman walks by in a red dress, and both of you noticed her. And then you look back at him and you go, you like that, huh? You like that? Is that what you like? Is that the kind of stuff you look at, huh? Yeah, I saw you tagging or liking things on Instagram. Yeah, you're following Becky, is that true, huh, huh, huh? That's speaking at. Speaking from would be, hey babe, I know that both of us sentient beings just noticed, like literally you're a sentient being, I'm a sentient being. I know that we just noticed her and it's really not about her. I'm feeling insecure because I saw that you liked a bikini picture and I have a story in my head that if you like those pictures, you don't like me. I have a story in my head that my body isn't as attractive to you because I had your children and I just need like reassurance. I just need you to tell me that I'm pretty and that you love me and that you care for me and that, um, you know, if you could be a little more mindful about the pictures you like, it would super, super help me, babe. Like, I know you're doing a great job. I know you struggle with your own stuff too, but like, I need you to help me. Now, once again, ask yourself, which one of those would be more inviting to your partner who is his own person, raised by his own parents, has his own traumas, experienced his own life? I'm gonna give you one more, I had a friend. She was dating a guy online who lived somewhere else. They were FaceTiming every day for seven days straight. On the eighth day, he didn't FaceTime her nor text her. She said, what do I do? I said, what do you wanna do? She's like, well, I I obviously want to talk to him and I want to FaceTime him, but like he needs to pursue me. I'm saying, so so what you're saying is, is that you got a hit to reach out to someone who's been reaching out to you nonstop for the last seven days. And instead of reciprocating that or being honest about your truth, you're going to withhold that because in your mental maps of the world, he needs to always be pursuing you in the exact same way. There's nothing that can ever happen in his world where maybe he got into a car accident. Maybe business got crazy. Maybe his mom got sick. We don't know what happened, but you're not going to find out because you're going to play a game because you don't want to look thirsty because you have this set of rules. And so ladies, stop lying. Stop withholding. We need you to drop that handkerchief We need you to invite us into your beautiful, juicy, feminine heart. And we can't do it if you are lying, withholding, and speaking at versus speaking from. Relationship PSA. One of the most powerful statements you can say in an argument or when things are starting to get heated is I'm sorry, please forgive me, let's start over. 
too many of us, when we get into arguments, are more committed to getting the point across than we are to each other. I invite you to hit the reset button. I invite you to create a culture of apology where each of you feels heard and seen in such a way that you understand that you aren't perfect. Ladies, I'm going to let you in on something. A lot of men, when they finally get the guts to bring something to you, and you turn it around and point it right back at them, in their minds they say, I'm not doing that again. And so they begin to repress and repress and repress, and then you wonder why. You can't get to their hearts. I'm not saying that men don't have issues. But as a man, I'm letting you in. And if your man feels safe enough, because men are afraid of women, hear me loud and clear, your reactions and the time it takes you to love us again, makes it to where sometimes men are afraid and they walk around on eggshells around you. And then when they're with their friends, they're free and happy and you notice that and want to punish or keep them away from the friends. All of this is about environment. And one of the dopest, most amazing, cleanest things you could do is say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I didn't mean it that way. Let's start over. Hurrah! Blessings and blessings, beautiful soul. If this triggered you in any way, you're welcome. Um, and also, please share, tag, like, send it somewhere, subscribe. Wherever you're watching this, just share it. Find out, share it with your partner. Ask, ask him, ask her, ask whoever if this feels resonant. I can almost guarantee you it will. I've been working with men and I've been working with women for the last 10 years straight. There's something there for us. And I'm not saying that men do not have their work. Men have a lot of work to do. We are, <laughs> we are a train wreck in some ways. And this is where your work is. Blessings and blessings. Blessings and blessings.